Hi, I'm Dr. Wu Jiawei, consultant cardiologist from Sunrise Heart Clinic and Royal Healthcare. Cardiac CT is the use of X-rays as a modality to take three-dimensional pictures of the heart. Imaging the heart well in the human body has only been done in recent years. This is because the heart is one organ in the human body that is constantly moving and it is as challenging as taking a fast-moving object such as a bird in flight. We need technology to be able to freeze the motion of the heart so as to allow us to take a good picture of the heart. We usually take a picture of the heart by a process called ECG gating. ECG leads are connected to the patient so that the scanner can use the ECG to track the movement of the heart. This allows the scanner to take a picture of the heart during a time when heart movement is the least so that we can get a very good image of the heart. Patients are usually concerned about radiation doses they are getting from a CT. We usually measure radiation doses in terms of millisieverts and the radiation doses can vary depending on which CT scanner we are using. Here we are using the latest technology Siemens uh, has to offer. For a single cardiac CT, we are able to bring the radiation exposure down to 1 to 2 millisieverts and that is roughly the equivalent of taking 20 transatlantic flights. However, if the weight of a patient is high, we may need to use a higher radiation dose to achieve the image that is suitable for diagnostic quality. Similarly, if the heart rate is irregular or if the heart rate is high, we may also need to use a higher radiation dose to achieve a diagnostic quality image. Hence, we usually advise patients not to drink any caffeinated products before a cardiac CT. This is because caffeine usually increases the heart rate. At the same time, we also administer medications during the scan itself to help slow down the heart rate. This will help us to achieve the best image with the least amount of radiation. Hence, with these techniques, a cardiac CT is generally safe for most people in terms of radiation exposure. However, one exception to this would be ladies who are pregnant. This is because the growing fetus may be more sensitive to the effects of radiation exposure. Cardiac CT is by far the most sensitive test we have so far to pick up coronary artery disease in patients who present with chest pain. By injecting an iodine-based contrast into a patient, we are able to opacify the heart arteries directly and this allows us to pick up the mildest of blockages in the heart arteries. It can also allow us to diagnose rare birth defects that affects the heart arteries. We are also able to use cardiac CT to characterize the blockages on the heart arteries. This will allow us to determine which blockages in the heart arteries are more prone to developing heart attacks. And this allows us to optimize our management plans for our patients. Cardiac CT has a role in predicting the likelihood of heart attack and stroke in patients and identifying higher risk patients for whom more intensive preventive treatments may be needed. Guidelines suggest that for patients with intermediate likelihood of having heart attack and stroke in future, cardiac CT may help to reclassify them into either low risk patients or high risk patients depending on the presence of calcium in the heart. So the cardiac CT can actually detect and quantify the amount of calcium in the heart. This is because calcium in the heart is directly related to the health of your heart arteries. Hence, patients with no calcium in the heart at all will have a low risk of having heart attack and stroke in the near future as compared to another patient who may have varying degrees of calcium in the heart. These patients may have a higher likelihood of having heart attack and stroke in future. We may 
potentially use cardiac CT for real-time dynamic assessment of the heart in future by obtaining real-time videos of the heart in movement rather than still images. In fact, we already have the technology to do it. However, this technology is still not widely used now due to a higher radiation exposure to patients if we were to take videos of the heart using CT. Hence, most centers of excellence use cardiac MRI to fulfill this purpose instead as cardiac MRI has no radiation. However, uh, CT scanners have been getting more advanced in the last few years and they are requiring less amounts of radiation to achieve quality images as the years progress. Hence, I foresee that in the near future, using cardiac CT to obtain real-time videos of the heart may be feasible and practical because of the lower amounts of radiation use. There's evolving technology now that allows us to measure pressure differences within the heart arteries itself using cardiac CT in a process called CTFFR. This can allow us to determine if a blockage in the heart artery is actually causing impairment to blood flow within the artery itself. And this may help us to direct therapies. This is because knowing if there are blockages in the heart arteries is like trying to find out if there are roadworks being done on the expressway now. Finding out if the blockages in the heart arteries are actually causing impairment of blood flow is like asking if the roadworks are actually causing a traffic jam. This is because we want to focus our energies on blockages that are actually causing impairment of blood flow because these are the blockages that matter.